These are Minecraft things you probably didn't know were in real life. Some of these Minecraft items or blocks were actually based on things that could be found in real life. For example, I am pretty confident that mycelium was based on a real life thing, which we will cover in this video. Some other items or blocks in Minecraft though were probably not based on anything in real life. For example, netherite was probably not based on any real life thing, but I am pretty sure I figured out what netherite is in real life, and hint, it's very expensive. But before we begin, if you are interested, please consider subscribing. It helps a lot, and enjoy the video. Starting off with redstone. I bet you knew that redstone conducts electricity, but what if I told you that redstone is radioactive as well? You see, if we place redstone ore into the material reducer, the Material Reducer is a Minecraft Education Edition feature that allows you to take Minecraft blocks or items and break them into their elemental components. And if we place said Material Reducer in, we get the elements of carbon, uranium, and an unknown element. This means that redstone is one-third carbon, one-third uranium, and also one-third mysterious element. So while we know that redstone is of course red, and is a powder, the uranium inside of redstone also makes redstone radioactive. Redstone being radioactive would explain why it seems to give off virtually infinite energy. Maybe redstone is actually giving us cancer or something. Anyways, it is here where the information path runs a bit dry, and I will have to do some chemistry guessing to figure out what redstone is in real life. Judging by the elements uranium and carbon that we get from the material reducer, redstone is likely a uranium carbide. A carbide is a compound that is composed of carbon and another metal. Uranium, by the way, is a type of metal. There is no uranium carbide I could find that is red though. I'm not sure, but uranium carbide is used in nuclear reactors for nuclear energy. I'm going to say that redstone is uranium carbide. Next is netherite. Netherite is made of 50% gold and 50% netherite scrap. This makes netherite a gold alloy. A gold alloy is something that is part gold and part another metal. This means that we will have to figure out what netherite scrap is to find out what netherite is. Netherite has extreme heat resistance, since it doesn't burn in lava, and is very strong. Netherite must be a metal that is a good match for gold. The most likely candidate for this is platinum. Platinum and gold are practically best friends. They are found next to each other on the periodic table. Both are noble metals, noble metal meaning that they do not easily corrode and are strong against acid. Gold and platinum are both expensive precious metals. The thing that convinced me the most though is that platinum and gold combined create an extremely strong substance that is stronger than diamond. Both platinum and gold are found deep below the earth, where the nether would be in Minecraft. Check out my what is netherite in real life video for further analysis. Another candidate could be tungsten. It is tougher than platinum and has a color that is more closely resembling to netherite. The only issue is that tungsten and gold aren't useful when combined. The only use I could find of tungsten and gold being used together was some jewelry and also tungsten used in scams to make gold heavier. So looking at all of the evidence, platinum seems to resemble netherite the most. It is found near gold and creates a strong alloy together. I will say that netherite is a platinum gold alloy. Coming up is lapis lazuli. Believe it or not, lapis lazuli is actually based on a real life thing. Lapis lazuli is a rock in real life that has been used by humans as gemstones and decorations. The Egyptians used lapis to decorate their sarcophaguses. The colors match almost perfectly. Lapis in Minecraft has a cool supernatural ability commonly known as magic. 
Lapis is used in rituals in real life too. I would say that Mojang made the Minecraft Lapis Azuli match our real life Lapis pretty much spot on. Next is Netherrack. Let's assume that the Minecraft Nether is like the equivalent of the inside of the earth, where it is very hot. If we put Netherrack in our material reducer again, we get the substances mercury, oxygen, and silicon. Mercury to oxide is a reddish colored compound of mercury and oxygen. Montroidite is the closest match. The silicon is what makes up the stonish part of netherrack. Cinnabar is also another possible candidate. It is made of mercury and sulfur instead of mercury and oxygen. There is not much information about montroidite, but I will say that netherrack is montroidite. Chorus fruit. I stumbled into an article by Mojang mentioning how the chorus fruit is similar to the real life pataya. Pitayas have a leathery reddish purple skin, spikes on the outside, and grow on large branching cacti plants. Sound familiar? They look pretty identical too. They even have the nickname Dragon Fruit, possibly correlating to the Minecraft Ender Dragon. Directly quoting Minecraft's article, the plants flower 3 to 6 times per year, and those flowers are nocturnal, relying on bats and moths for fertilization. That's pretty much a perfect fit for the end, a dimension where it's constant twilight. Maybe the Pattaya gained its teleportation abilities because of the teleportation powers in the end. The Chorus Fruit is a corrupted Pattaya. Upcoming is Netherwart. There is not much Minecraft offers to help here. It cannot be put in the material reducer. I'm pretty sure that Netherwart is a fungus. Funguses are quote unquote any group of spore producing organisms feeding on organic matter. Maybe Netherwart feasts on the souls inside of soul sand. Who knows? Believe it or not, mycelium is actually a real life thing. Mycelium is, and I quote, vegetative parts of a fungus consisting of a network of fine white filaments, also known as hyphae. They are essentially the small roots of the fungus. The color of real life mycelium and Minecraft mycelium is fairly close-ish. The fact that mycelium covers entire land masses in Minecraft mushroom biomes means that the roots of all of the mushrooms on the land cover the soil in mushroom roots, also called hyphae. When you step on Minecraft mycelium, you are standing on mushroom roots. So mycelium is in fact mycelium. Prismarine is a turquoise rock in Minecraft found only in the sea. There is not much information about Prismarine, but the closest match I could find are Aquamarine stones. Aquamarine stones are quite rare and mainly used as jewelry and gemstones. The color matches quite well. These rocks are very rare though, so building an entire monument out of Aquamarine stones would be unrealistically expensive. Prismarine is aquamarine stone. Last but not least, sponge. The sponge in Minecraft is not an organic sponge like the Minecraft coral blocks, but the Minecraft sponge is more like the man-made synthetic sponge you find in kitchens. Minecraft sponges can also be found in ocean monuments, so it's quite accurate. Minecraft sponges can also be found when you kill an elder guardian, which is quite weird. But anyways, sponge is a sponge. In my Minecraft science series, we cover what Minecraft things are in real life, and we cover other cool stuff as well, combining Minecraft and science. 